Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Biomed. Welcome to the Biomed Cafe channel. In this channel, complex biological and medical contents are presented in a simple, classified, and summarized form. The topic of this video is channel proteins in the cell membrane. Please subscribe to this channel, and if you like the contents of this video, please like it. Channel proteins. They are a special arrangement of amino acids. They move from an area of high concentration to a low concentration and carry out the majority of facilitated diffusion. They don't need to energy. They are a hydrophilic way for transport of small polar ions. These channel proteins are called ion channels and a hydrophilic way for transport of water. That these channel proteins are called aquaproteins. Channel proteins can classify into two subgroups. non-gated channels and gated channels. Non-gated channel. Okay. It's open all the time. In its structure, some identical subunits attach to each other in a circle. The inside of the circle is hydrophilic. And its function it allows ions and water to flow through the cell membrane. It creates balance of water and ions into or out of the cell. Gated channel. It remains closed until it receives a special chemical or electrical signal. In its structure, some subunits attached to each other in a circle and the inside of the circle is hydrophilic and its function. It allows ions to flow through the cell membrane. It plays in several biological activities. Gated channels can classify into three subgroups. Mechanically gated channels ligand gated channels and voltage gated channels mechanically gated channels as you see they are transmembrane proteins that are closed they open in response to pressure touch sound and Temperature. They allow the passage of ions like calcium, potassium, and sodium. They play a role in signal transmission in many processes like muscular dystrophy, neuronal degeneration, polycystic kidney disease, and tumor metastasis. Mechanically gated channels found in prokaryotic cell membranes and in eukaryotic cell membrane, like neuron, lung, skin, bladder, and heart. Two examples of these channels are mechanically gated channel in muscle and mechanically gated channel in inner air. One of the examples of mechanically gated channels is mechanically gated channel in inner air. As you see, the channel is closed, but when it receives pressure or a sound signal, it opens. Then 
calcium and potassium ions transfer from the extracellular side to the intracellular side of the membrane. Another example of mechanically gated channels is mechanically gated channel in a skin. As you see, the channel is closed, but when it receives pressure signal, it opens. Then, sodium ions transfer from extracellular side to intracellular side, and calcium ions transfer from the intracellular side to the extracellular side of the membrane. The second subgroup of gated channels is ligand gated channels. They are transmembrane proteins that are closed. They open when a ligand such as a neurotransmitter binds to the receptor. As a function, they allow the passage of ions like potassium, sodium, chloride, and calcium. They play a role in signal transmission in physiological and pathophysiological processes. They are found in prokaryotic cell membranes and in eukaryotic cell membranes. Some examples of ligand-gated channels are ligand-gated sodium channels, ligand-gated calcium channels, ligand-gated potassium channels, and ligand-gated chloride channels. Ligand-gated sodium channel. Ligand-gated sodium channel opens with acetylcholine. Acetylcholine as a ligand attached to the channel receptor. Then the channel opens and sodium ions transfer to the cell membrane. Another example of ligand gated channels is ligand gated calcium channel. Ligand Gated calcium channel opens with inositol 1,4,5,3-phosphate or IP3. IP3 as a ligand attached to the channel receptor. Then the channel opens and calcium ions transfer to the cell membrane. Another example of ligand-gated channels is ligand-gated potassium channel. Ligand-gated potassium channel opens with calcium. Calcium ions at the ligand attached to the channel receptor. Then the channel opens and cal uh, potassium ions transfer to the cell membrane. Ligand-gated chloride channel. Ligand-gated chloride channel opens with gamma aminobutyric acid or GABA. GABA as a ligand attached to the channel receptor. Then the channel opens and chloride ions transfer to the cell membrane. The third subgroup of gated channels is voltage gated channels. They open and close in response to changes in membrane potential. They have three main conformational states. Close, open, and inactivated. Closed and inactivated are ion 
impermeable and open is ion permeable. As I told you, voltage gated channels have three conformational states. Closed channel. In closed channel, membrane potential is in resting potential state and voltage is about minus 70 millivolt and the channel closed. In open channel, there is action potential and voltage is about minus 55 millivolt. The channel opens allowing positively charged sodium ions to flow into the neuron through the channels. And inactivated channel. In inactivated channel, voltage is about plus 30 millivolt. The activation gate opens but blocked on the extracellular side by its inactivation gate. One of example of voltage gated channels is voltage gated sodium channel. These channels are responsible for the generation of action potential of long duration. As you see, the channel is closed. Here you see the open channel and sodium ions transfer to the channels and inactivated channel. Another example is voltage gated potassium channel. They are imprinting in generating the resting membrane potential. You see the uh, closed channel, open channel, and inactivated channel. Another example of voltage-gated channels is voltage-gated calcium channels. They regulate intracellular calcium concentrations and thus are responsible for a wide range of biochemical processes within cells. One of the most important processes regulated by these channels is the release of neurotransmitters at synapses. Uh, here you see closed voltage-gated calcium channel, open channel, and inactivated channel. And the fourth example is voltage-gated colloid channel. These channels are present in every type of neurons and also known to contribute to the resting membrane potential. See the closed channel, open channel, and inactivated channel. Thank you for watching. Please give me a comment and tell me what topics you would like to be presented in this cafe. In the next video, I will talk about carrier proteins in a simple, classified, and summarized form. Until the next video, bye!